Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy Notel, here in my little place with the villagers that do the things and this one's all kind of confused. You're not by your lectern, sir. What's wrong with you? You're my Unbreaking 3 one, the cheap one. You can't get broken. I need you. But anyway, we're not here today to mess about with villagers, believe it or not. We are going to finally get some more work done our, uh, on our house. You might notice as we walk around there's some missing blocks. And Silent Whisper says the server seems to be running nicely and then it took 35 seconds to save, which means it's probably going to crash out now. Oh, there is a present in my garden. Hmm, is this from my secret Santa? Could it be? Could it be? Has he been already? I mean, it's not even Christmas yet, but I've got a present. But yeah, there's some blocks missing around my house from where I've had to remove workstations to get the villagers to work. I'm not going to put them back just yet. The thing I want to work on, there's two things I want to work on, and these are as follows. First of all, I want to get this garden sorted out. I would like to make this a nice gardeny area. Second of all, up here, I would like to make this area look really cool as well. I'd like some, uh, like, I don't know, pool room or games room or something up here. I don't know, something like that. And I need to get my telescope on here. I don't know how I'm going to build a telescope. We'll have to figure that out as we come along to it. And the other thing that I would like to do in this house is to build the stairs at the back door here. So this was going to be stairs up to our first floor there, which I need to do and I haven't done. So we need to do that as well. So lots of things to do around the house. We're not going to worry about the basement and we're not going to worry about what's inside that spire yet. We'll do that at a later point. That is the plan for today. And before we do any of that, I really need to go to the shopping area and check out our stock and profits and things like that. But... I didn't, I genuinely didn't know this was here, so I'm, I'm, uh, oh, it's from Jesse. Ooh. Should I save it for Christmas, or should I open it today? Well, I can't, you, you can't answer that until the comments are out, so I guess next video maybe we open it. But it is right on my garden, where I'm planning on working today, so maybe we need to open it to get rid of it. Right, anyway, bedtime, and then shops. <laughs> and for some reason, I'm still sleeping in my storage shed instead of the house. I don't understand why. And here we are at the shopping centre, and here is Upside Down Santa. I just want to make sure no one's fiddled with anything in here and everything's as it should be. It looks that way, which is good. Okay, we'll leave that alone then, and let's go check our first shop, which is our end shop, and make sure everything is hunky-dory in here. Oh, we got a diamond there. We sold a little bit of diamond armour. That's good. What about there? No, nothing in there. Sugar boxes? No. Okay, no one needs sugar boxes at the minute. That's a good sign. Oh, loads of rockets have gone. Okay. Oh, um, oh, yeah, okay, there are more rockets, that's okay then, we don't need to restock just yet. Oh, the Elytra's gone, I'm very surprised at that. Slime's okay, bone block's okay, stone's okay, yep, 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 and yep a Rooney. so that's all okay. In fact, I'm just going to nip down to the stock room, because someone said there was a creeper that was like halfway down here or somewhere, last time I came down here, and I don't remember seeing it, but there is a block missing there, which isn't very good. Ah, stop, let me back in. So where's the creeper, supposedly? Someone said there was a creeper. Don't feel like there's a creeper. Nope, no creeper. Have we got any more fireworks? No, we don't. So let's put the uh, these sugar boxes down here in one of these chests. I, uh, we'll pop them there for now. It's fine. And our shop profit there. One for me and one for Slack. There we go. Very good. And swooping down into the uh, second shopping area, we have our end shop. Has anything been sold in here? Not end shop, prismarine shop. Oh, we sold a little bit of prismarine. Not much, though. Not much at all. Okay, fair enough. Any sales at Johnny Butcher's? Yes, we sold a bit of beef. Well, that's good. And that's about it. Speaking of beef, I need to get some better food because I'm living on fish again. I'm going to take a load of these pork chops and live on pork chops for a while, I think. And finally, the lighting shop. Let's see if we've sold anything in here. It's not looking... Oh, whoa, okay. We've sold a load of glowstone, which means we really need to restock that. Can you get glowstone from villagers now? That might be a better way of doing it, because Slack's Witch Farm is a little bit slow. And redstone lamps as well. Oh, my goodness me. And we've sold all of our end rods. Okay, so we need to make more of those. And we've hardly got any sea lanterns left. Oh, man. Okay. Right, we need to do some serious restocking of the lighting shop at some point then. Oh, and before I go, I forgot I'm currently in care of Mr. Onion Shop, aren't I? Seems that Mr. Barbecue's given up on the job, so let's just check that uh, he's still got stock. He has. No cobwebs, though, but that's fine. Has he got anything? Made any money? No. 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 Okay. Right, so he's got no, no money to put in there. And look how rich he is still. He's still got so much money. Can't believe how much money he's got. 
And another half for me, and another half for Slack. And since I'm here, I might as well take mine with me. Right, let's go and get that stock. Well, my personal stock of sea lanterns is pretty low. I've got these shards and I've got loads of prismarine, but I don't have any sea lanterns. So I guess we need to go over to the Guardian farm and see if there's any in stock over there. Oh, come on, fly, please. Yeah, check if there's any in stock over there. And also, I've looked at the wiki. Apparently, a cleric villager that is leveled up to a journeyman will trade glowstone. So I think we're going to have to change our gardening plans today and maybe play with villagers again. Oh, man. And coming to the Guardian farm, I can see we've got a reasonable amount of prismarine crystals. So we might be able to make a few sea lanterns, but it's not going to be loads. And again, I forgot to bring my sugar boxes with me because I am not very smart. How many are we going to be able to make? I need the other stuff as well, don't I? Oh, man. Oh, this could take a while. Well, all of that was just over 10 stacks with, which is pretty good, but it's not loads. So what I need to do is get Chuck and hopefully the big chicken or maybe even Mr. Barbecue over here to AFK to get us a load more guardians so that we can, yeah, put this back on farm mode instead of XP mode, which it's currently on, and which I'm just going to use just to uh, get rid of these guys. Uh, yeah, and then uh, get get loads of stuff. Right. If we flick the lever, boom, that's going to open up that hole. And now it is in farming mode. And now we just need to get people AFK over here so we can start gathering a bit more prismarine. Big Chicken, you look to me like you're wearing the wrong skin. Yeah, uh, when I log in, I become Fox, not Chicken. Right, okay. All you got to do is literally just stand here and that's it. Just don't go anywhere. If you log off or if you go elsewhere, then this, like, the whole server will break. Oh, okay, I can do this. What I do if Big Fish escape from home? It won't escape. It's absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, I will stay here. You better do. Do not crash out the server. I'm letting you do this. I will. I can do it. Very good job. Okay. You look weird looking like me. You look weird looking like you also. Thanks. Right. Okay, bye. Oh, man, you look like me as well. Yeah? Right. If Big Chicken logs out or wanders off, you have to exit the game, okay? Okay. Are you sure you got that? Yeah. Right, okay. I'm trusting you. Make sure you do, otherwise we'll break the server and we'll all be in trouble. Are you definitely 100% sure if Big Chicken logs out, you're going to leave the game? Yeah. Good, that's good to know. Oh, he's gone. Oh, man. Um, Chuck? Yeah? Big Chicken's just gone. Okay. What are you going to do about that? Yeah. Really? Oh, come on. I, I just said, you know, you've got to go if he goes. Okay. Well, go then. Okay. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? Why is it so hard? Why did you go? Oh, uh, there was something good on TV I want to watch. You got... I told you you can't leave. If you leave and you're not here to get these guardians, then Chuck's going to load them all and they're going to be coming through. And when someone comes to the nether, it'll lag out the server. We can't afford to do that. Oh, OK. Sorry. I won't go anywhere again. Right, okay, not even if anything good comes on TV or there's a good something to do, nothing, you're not allowed to leave, okay? Oh, okay, what if um, I uh, there is music and I want to dance? Well, you don't have to leave for that, do you? Oh, I suppose not. Okay, I will stay. Good. Right, please do. Please don't cause problems. Bye. Bye. Man, just want to get on. It's got things to do, you know. Can't stand around... You got any payments in here? No. Stand around babysitting those two idiots all day. I hope that. Shut up! What? Why? How? How is there zombies in here killing all my villagers? What? What is going on? Why? Why is this happening? Why are they on fire? Oh no! All my villagers! Why? How is this? How did a zombie get in here? It's so light. Please don't burn. To oh, no. And I've got thorns on the ro No. <laughs> Every single one apart from you. Really? Why? How? Oh, my goodness. Don't come out. Don't come out. Whatever you do, you will burn to death. No, don't come out. No, and don't hit me. I've got thorns on. Ah. Oh, my goodness me. How? How did that happen? Come in here. Come in here. Follow me in here. That's it. Oh, man, I'm going to die. I don't care. Oh, my goodness me. What? 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 How? How does a zombie get inside during the day when it's light and it's completely fully lit in there? This game sucks. Bedrock edition. I literally spent 
four hours rolling trades yesterday i am, oh man i am not happy not even one bit happy come in here please come in here please just come in here that's it i don't care if you kill me i just need to block you in please just don't 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 die oh why why oh my goodness me that is so frustratingly annoying i was literally just gonna go and grab a new villager i can't believe it i really can't believe it that's so annoying so annoying so i got three villagers left and that's if only if this one doesn't move and burn in the sunlight all right quick oh there's two there all right quickly take some golden carrots and whatever you do, don't move okay you guys you come here I've got to get one of you at least with a golden carrot. There you go, there's one. Oh my goodness me. I need to put a block down so those guys can't move out of there and die. Oh my goodness. Why? Who made it a good idea that zombie villagers can burn in the daylight? That's just not a good idea at all, is it? Oh man. Oh man. This sucks. And who's, who's found a door to bang on? There's another one. How do you get in the house? Where's my front door's gone again? There was fences over there. The, oh my how why i've not even been in the area oh if i was if i wasn't if i wasn't so strong-willed i'd be rage quitting right now i can't believe it right i need i need i need another golden carrot i don't i don't not golden carrot golden apple i don't know if i've got any golden apples i have i've got one right which one of you did i not give a carrot to oh i don't you're not you're not been oh i don't have any more weakness oh my goodness me can't believe it i'm so stressed out right now it took so long to sort those guys out so so long why why does this game do this to me all right these two have changed back have they remembered their trades yes they have what have we got power four and efficient power five and efficiency four so the two most useless ones now you're gonna no 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 you're not allowed to do that sir leave him alone escape villager escape escape please escape there you go right quick no, 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 no. I'm back in there. Ah, I've got thorns on again. Stop. No, 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 no. This thorns three was a bad idea. Come back in here, zombie. Come back this way. I'm no, right back here. That's it. Come in here. Let me just dodge past you. There we go. There we go. Right, good. Okay. Right, let's make one of these into a splash potion then. Did that other villager die? Are they all dead? Did he get him? Did he kill him? They're not supposed to kill them. They're supposed to convert them. How has he died? Did I leave the gate open? Have I left? Have I let him wander out? I have. I've let him wander out. Oh my goodness me! Now, oh my goodness me! No, no, you, you, please don't, please don't. You're, oh, you're my mending villager as well. Please, please don't run away. Please stay in there. This sucks. This sucks so much. Right, you, come here. I'd have a nice easy day. Gunpowder. I need gunpowder. I wasn't even in the area. I've been in the Nether. How has it even been loaded? I, I re ah oh, oh man how did it I just want to know how a zombie even got in it's impossible right you come here I mean at least I can breed him back up again but their trades oh that's the thing I'm annoyed about the most is the trades I hate villagers why every time I try and do something with villagers something goes wrong how does a zombie get in there how do they do it power five <laughs> mending <laughs> Oh, man. Right, you need to come back in here. This way, please, sir. You're the other bendy one. Oh, so he got mo two. No? Has he gone to the wrong workstation? Oh, they've got probably, like, redone their workstations now, haven't they? Yeah, this one keeps going over to this workstation, and that's Efficiency 4 guy. Right, is that... Have you just turned back? What are you? You're... You are... I'm breaking three. Oh, my goodness. So my... My, my two favourite ones are okay. This is good. And if I give them some more fruit and vegetables... They should hopefully make us some more babies. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it could be a lot worse. I mean, it's not an ideal situation at all, but it could be an absolutely a ton worse than it is. Oh, man. I've never been that stressed out playing this game. I put so much time into those villagers. So much time yesterday when I was recording all of that. Oh, man. All right, you, idiot number one, you need to get yourself back through here. Come on, why are you standing on that table? Go back to your other villagers. Go back to your workstation. Your workstation is that way. Why do you want to be up here? You can't... Oh, you idiot. You can't go through the wall. I suppose you can. There you go. Dummy dum dum. Look, my door's there's missing as well. Oh, man. 
I might, I might speak to the other guys and see if we can turn hard mode off because I'm so sick of not having any doors and everyone just dying. Oh, it's so frustrating. Well, apparently I didn't do a very good job of lighting up. We do have some blocks in here that are, yeah, spawnable, which isn't great. There's none in here, but there are some out here, which is not good. So we need to spam a few more lanterns around the place. I'm amazed we haven't had mobs in here sooner then, if that's the case. Oh, man. Right. Give me my lanterns. We'll put one on that fence post there. That'll deal with those. And there's one over here as well. I'm sure I had that one sorted out before. There we go. Put one up there. That's good. I feel like I should put one there as well just to keep that bit a little bit light because that looks quite dark. Yeah, we're all good there now. What about the rest of the house then? Yeah, there's a spawnable block there. So let's put a lantern there. Oh, and here as well. So we'll put one there. Oof, there's tables a bit spawnable, but there is carpet and trapdoors, so they shouldn't technically be able to spawn on there, but it'd be nice if I could light that up. Let's just put a lantern under the table. No no one will see that, honest. Problem not having any doors, though. I'm going to have to put, I'm gonna have to put um, metal doors on everywhere. Metal doors, what are they called? Iron doors everywhere, which is annoying because they look ugly. Oh, look, have we got more blocks missing again? What a surprise. Oh, there's a couple in my bedroom that I didn't realise. I'm sure I checked all of this. Clearly not. Right, if I put a, a lantern in the cupboard, maybe? Got room? No? Okay, uh, we'll just have a little sideboardy bit for now then. Pop that there, put that on it. And then one on this windowsill here. There we go. Okay, that's the bed sorted. Everywhere over here is nice and light. That's all good. Good. What about this bedroom? Oh, oh, some dark spots in here, sir. Very dark. Oh dear. Pop one on there. This bed, same thing again. Get rid of that bed, put one there. Put the carpet on top. That's all right, what about this bathroom? Ooh, bathroom's a little spawnable. Put a lantern on the uh, on the windowsill. There we go. That's glass, they shouldn't really be able to get in there, but let's have, let's have one there anyway. What about your room, Jimmy? Your, Jimmy? your room's all right, isn't it? Not spawnable in your room. Won't get any bad guys in there. And upstairs is a little bit spawnable as well. Okay, so as far as I can tell, everything is completely spawn-proof in the house now. The problem now is we don't have any, yeah, doors anywhere. So we're going to have to fill the entire house with iron doors, which just looks really bad. They just don't look good, do they, iron doors? So oh, that's, that's a real shame, but I don't know what else we can do. Which means we're going to need levers and buttons everywhere as well. Oh, man, this sucks. I mean, technically... If we just put them on here at the front, we shouldn't really get anything in. Oh, and I can't. They're all stair blocks. I can't even like open the door without dismantling the look of my house. Go, yeah, that's that front door looking a little bit nicer. Oh, did we didn't check the front room, did we? Let's go check the front room. Make sure that's not spawnable. <gasps> there is. There's a spot. And the office. We've been in here. Right. Everything's not spawnable now. Good. Let's see how we get on. Uh, let's go and put the normal doors back on everywhere and let's hope they won't get broken again. Please, please game, don't break my doors again. One there. There is one there still. That's good. And one there. Okay, we're back to a little bit of normality. We need to get these guys some veggies to breed them up again and then we're going to have to roll all their trades again to get the right villagers again and it's all good fun. But uh, yeah, they, we're not any closer to stocking our shops or doing any gardening, are we? And I need to turn this weird texture back off. Hey guys, it's the fruit and veg man. I have arrived with your fruit and vegetables. I need to keep some back so that we can actually make some more. I bought all of these off Prowl. I thought they'd last me forever and they have hardly lasted me at all. Can you please eat these, right? Share them about and make more babies so that we can uh, we can sort these trades and things out, please. That would be good. Okay, so while our villager friends are making us some babies, I've been getting us some rockets ready. I've made those. We've got, uh, yeah, I've not got much gunpowder left now, but that's not a problem. I've also got some sugar canes being grown at our sugar cane farm, and I'm looking now at what we can do in terms of where we're going to put clerics. Once we've got enough baby villagers, we're going to pinch a couple, and we're going to put some clerics somewhere, and I'm thinking a good place for that might be our tall tower up here if we um if we put them in there i mean we've got no use for this room up here at all i don't know why i've come this way i can't show you it from there hang on a minute I'm gonna run around my roof turn around and go in here yeah if we um 
If we come up into here, this might not be a bad little place to put our cleric villagers, and it should be relatively safe from zombies, i.e. there's no way that they can get here from downstairs, especially if we put walls around and a metal door. So the other thing I wanted to do, I mean, one of the things I really wanted to do today was uh, the garden, so that I could get the garden all lit up and try and prevent zombies from spawning. Not that it will help, because spawning's completely broken at the moment, but it might help a little bit. So maybe while I'm waiting for babies to be born, I should do that. Man, I've got such a short amount of time to record today to get two episodes out, and now I've got a grind of waiting for babies to grow and rolling villagers that I didn't want to do. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I do anything else. I'm going to steal some of those babies and see if I can get them upstairs. Give me a boat or two. Gonna steal the babies. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm a baby stealer. Villagers, give me your babies! They're going for a ride. Baby, you're coming with me. Now, we need to break through here and get out before the other villagers escape. Come on, baby. We've got this. No, come on, I need to... Oh, my goodness me. Why are boats so slow to turn when you're boating them on land? It doesn't make any sense. Go. Go. Let's wear the oars down on this wood. Sailing through my house. Do, 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 do. Hello, dog number one. Two, three, four, and five. Are you going to build all the house today? No, I'm not. I'm busy. Busy moving babies. Okay, buddy. Up we go. Hup, hup, hup. Yes, that was easy. I didn't expect that to be easy at all, but it was. Good. Excellent. Come on, round this corner. Oh, this is going to be loads easier than I thought. I thought this was going to be a real challenge, but it's not easy. Right, let me in the boat. We'll do this together. What happened to my mum and dad? But they're downstairs still. No, the ones before that. You know, remember the ones that were turned green and went on fire? That wasn't your mum and dad, that was your nan and granddad. Oh, yeah. What happened to them? Um, nothing. They're perfect. They went on holiday. Come on, up we go. Where did they go? Somewhere nice. Are they coming back? Probably not. Not a holiday, they're not coming back. You mean they've moved? Have they emigrated? Yes. Oh, don't they love me? Probably not. Come on. Oh, come on. One more step. And what are you linking to? That thing in Johnny's room. Oh, man. Not Johnny, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hop, hop. There we go. You have to use the old jump on the ender chest trick. Everybody knows it. All right. Let's go in the boat. No. Oh, my lead. Oh, my goodness me. Where are we going? Over here. Okay. And there we go. We have baby number one in a boat in this new area. I'm going to go get you a friend, and then we can... Well, we breed if we need to. We only need one more, don't we? Got another boat here. Let's go wrangle another baby. That was actually surprisingly easy. I'm a baby wrangler. Ow. Gonna wrangle your babies today. Oh, they're all asleep, you lazy babies. Wake up. Ha. I got a baby trap. I might have a sleep in this bed, since there's no one in it. I borrow it. Ding, 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 ding. Wake up. Here we go. We caught a baby successfully. I don't think we can get out through here, though. There's not enough of a big, no, not a big enough gap. Okay. It was a bad idea. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. We're going this way, baby. Come on. I'm playing. No, don't play. Come with me. And oh, you're stuck in a bed, moron. I'm stuck in a bed. I just said that. Get out of bed. Come on. Chop. This way. I've got candy. Come with me. Come get in my van, uh, boat. Go. There we go. Excellent. Good job. No one else is allowed out. Okay. Oh, don't follow us. I haven't really got candy. Go away. Shoot. Oh, my goodness me. Why are you all following me? I like boats. You want to go out there? No, I'm not opening it. You're all going to escape. Oh, now there's two babies in the boat. Oh, my goodness me. You morons. Right. Just one baby in the boat, please. Which one of you is going to get in? Any? Anyone? Come on. Yeah, we got one. Good. Right, no one else escape while we do this. Go, go, quick, quick, baby. Go, 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 and close the gates. Ha ha! You are so dumb! <laughs> Come on. We've got to build all the house. No dog, shut up. Not having a house. You live in my house, it's nice. Oh, I just wanted a dog house. Like a big kennel. Oh, maybe. Not now, not today, though. Oh, okay. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. I'm busy. I've got plans for these episodes, you know. Wish I had a, wish I had a nice big cat. Shut up! Stop making me feel bad. You live in my house. You're supposed to be happy. Come on, baby, hop. Come on, hop, hop, baby, hop, baby, baby, hop, hop. Nope. This side. Go. Your friend, your brother came up to your dead easy. Why are you struggling? There we go. My sister actually. Oh, shut up. 
Why have you got a man voice? You sound like a baby. Sorry, that better. Yes, much better. Thank you. Come on, hop, 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 hop. Way there you go. Flying babies all over the place. Oh, that was easy. You came right to the top. Good job. Excellent job, baby. Hello, baby. It's your friend. It's not my friend. It's my brother. Well, it's your brother then. Shut up. Moaning. Your family. Right. Let's build these guys place. It's not to keep you in. It's for your safety. And I'm actually being genuine this time. Normally, I'd say that just to, uh, yeah, you know, just so you believe me. So you do as you're told. But I actually mean it today. Actually, do you know what? Instead of doors, we'd be better off putting fences, wouldn't we? And then, like, fence gates. Because I don't... I think the zombies would probably reach over the fence, but they wouldn't be able to get over the fence. Which means that the, the villagers, if they've got any brains, would, like, keep away from them. So if we do that with a bit of carpet and just raise the height of the door here a little bit, I think that's going to be better. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so we've got a very basic room in here. We've got four of these brewing stands and we've got four beds. This villager has connected to a bed, but not a brewing stand. I don't know what he's connected to. What type of villager are you? What have you connected to? You're a leather worker. So you've connected to... What have you connected to? What's a leather worker connect to? I'm going to have to check that in a minute. And you are not connecting to anything. You're a baby, though. So I don't understand why you're not picking a bed. I think they might be connecting to beds downstairs, which is not great because I don't want them to do that. <laughs> But there's, there's a bathroom below the, that room. There isn't a bedroom, so I don't know what bed he could possibly be connecting to. A cauldron, apparently. According to the wiki, a cauldron. I didn't think I had any cauldrons in this house. Now i got to go and find... Oh, there's one in the bathroom right below this room, isn't there? Of course there is. Yes. Yes, Foxy Noto, you can't have a normal sink. You can't. You can't have just any old block you want in your house. Right, let's go get rid of the cauldrons then. Oh, man. You'd think it'd be too low down for them to connect to, really, wouldn't you? I mean, I suppose what I could do is, like, get them higher up in here, but I don't think that's really going to help us. And I've just realised that the top of that doesn't look spawn-proof at all. Ow. You should use scaffolding or an ender pearl. Oh, shut up. Oh, man. I don't want to be on the outside. I want to be on the inside. Flip, birdie, flip, flop, birdie, flop. Let's put torches right at the top. Many, many, many torches. There we go. That should be plenty with a bit of luck. And that... Oh, the baby village is now connected to a bed. That's good news. Hopefully they'll remember that that's their bed and they won't get all upset and confused because they can't reach it in future. And let's just sort these boxes out. Oh, forever. Forever cleaning my inventory. Okay, this guy's finally decided he's a cleric, which is good news. We need some stuff to trade with them, which is going to be rotten flesh, which I do have a reasonable amount of, which I can go and grab from downstairs. So that's good. This one's still not, and I keep seeing little sparkles going on on here, which means that villagers all the way from downstairs must be trying to connect with them, but they shouldn't be able to because they're too high. Look, someone's trying to connect to that bed, but they shouldn't be able to because they're only supposed to be able to see three blocks above their head, so something really weird going on there. Very, very weird because it's a long way down. I mean, they're all the way on the bottom floor, and that's all the way at the top. There's no way <laughs> they should see each other, but they are. So, which one of you morons is trying... And what are you? What are you connected to? An armourer? What have you found? Now he's a cleric. So you've connected to one of those workstations at the very top of the house. You and you're still an armourer. Oh, man. Why? You've got all of these legtons. Be a bit... Be... <laughs> I give up. I give up. Hello, chaps. Where's the cleric? There he is. Look. You moron. I've got a decent amount of rotten flesh here. I might actually go and just do it with the upstairs one because uh, the one down here is probably going to change to be a librarian in a minute anyway. I don't actually want them to be a cleric. I know I can force them to be the right trade by trading with them, but it's when you're when you're rolling the trades like we need to be doing, it's difficult when there's spare workstations about and I just don't have the time today to go through each, like, each person individually. At least these guys have both decided that they're they're the right trades. So let's see what we can do here then. Let's see if we can... I don't suppose it really matters, does it? It's probably just going to be the price more than anything that changes with these. They're both 32 though. Oh, and yeah, they need to be journeymen to do low, glowstone, don't they? Let's hope we can get them up to journeymen with uh, with this rotten flesh we've got here then. Okay, sir. Give me all your emeralds. Thank you. And a bit more. Is that it? No, you can do a bit more. Yeah? Any more? No, that's it for you. And what about you, sir? Oh, redstone. I didn't really want redstone, but that's fine. Oh, that's traded you up to, to the next level as well. Okay, if we get some lapis then. 
Oh, glowstone dust. Oh, we don't actually want glowstone dust. We actually want proper glowstone. Which I think is possible, but I'm not... I don't know if that's like a like a chance thing, maybe? Um, can you trade glowstone? No, it's emeralds for glowstone. And gold? Oh, man, no. I'll get my emerald block box out. We'll do it that way. Take my emeralds. Give me your glowstone. Redstone, whatever it is. Give me some lapis. Give me some glowstone dust. Oh, man, they're not glowstone. It's just glowstone dust again. Ah, which isn't ideal, but it'll do. Although it's going to be very expensive buying lots of glowstone from these guys. Very expensive. Four emeralds for one glowstone dust. Yeah, that, that's not a good trade. Let's go see if the guy downstairs is going to get us a better deal. Well, the cleric downstairs has become a librarian now, so I guess what I need to do is go and get rid of all of these guys' workstations and beds so that we can start rolling the trades properly and we're not going to get confused with these peeps up here. So we can get rid of their workstations because they can't... Well, we can leave those two, I suppose. Yeah, they're not going to get confused with other ones. Let's go downstairs and see if we can sort the librarians out now. Oh, man. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of librarians. We don't know what their trades are going to be. We're going to have to do some levelling up again, which means I need to get rid of all this <laughs> this rotten flesh and replace it with the stuff that they want. And we're going to do some new trading again. Great. Okay, weird things are happening. I'm now getting babies being born down here where there's no villagers. It's like they're slipping through the floor somehow. I've had babies and adults in the secret room that they can't get through because the solid block's in the way. There's something seriously wrong with this game positioning entities because none of those should have been there. Uh, yeah, I had villagers in that secret room. I keep wondering who's connecting to this lectern. Somebody's connecting to it and I couldn't find them. And it, I, yeah, I still don't know who it is. It does the sparkles, but nobody in here is actually connecting to it, which is really, really... Oh, maybe it's this guy. Okay, have you decided you want it now? Unbreaking three. Okay, that's good. Finally, we've got somebody that's actually going to own up to it. Okay, we now have eight librarians that are all tuned into their workstations. They've all been traded with. We've got another mending one, and i got another moron here that I accidentally unlocked his bookshelf trade, which is fine. It really doesn't matter. It's not what I wanted. I really wanted a Thorns 3 one again, but I've literally spent another hour and a half rolling trades and getting nowhere, so... Yeah, that's as good as we're going to get for now. We won't worry about Thorns 3 at the moment. We'll worry about that next time we need to make armor. And I can't, having to block this off, that's my secret door, which uses an item. Basically, you chuck an item down and it opens the door. And so the reason they were getting in there is because they keep throwing carrots and potatoes to each other and unlocking the door. So I've had to put fence posts there, which means now I can't get in. And if I break this box with all of this stuff in it, all of the items inside are going to fall down and unlock the door. So I've got to get everything out of it put it in a chest, and then do it so I don't accidentally unlock that door. Well, we might not have been very successful getting glowstone, but at least we got quite a few sugar boxes. Oh, and end rods as well I haven't done any of. We'll have to sort that out another day as well. Yeah, so uh, we need another way to get glowstone. The only other way I can really think is using Slack's witch farm, but I'm pretty sure he's, uh, he's using that quite a lot himself at the moment. We did... Managed to get another bunch of firework rockets, which is good, though. So if I put those there like that and then go to get the emeralds with the prices on from downstairs, that's at least that little job done. But, yeah, we're really not very far forward from where I wanted to be. So there we go. And there we go. I mean, this video did take a bit of a tangent anyway. I mean, we were supposed to be decorating our garden and then we went on a quest for glowstone, which involved moving more and more villagers about. But... Yeah, we didn't really, just thanks to those zombies that spawn inside the house, we really, really did get set back. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I still have the Christmas prankers, I have to prank Zloy thing done. And I did get a load of comments on my video about what pranks you thought we should do, and I've taken those on board, and we will be doing those very soon. But that's going to be a big build and something I don't have time to do today. So what we probably can do with the few little bits of time we've got left today is just check inside of Slack's witch hut. Wow, I like that. That's cool. He's got a flower pot with a tree in it. Yeah, and check on his uh, his gunpowder supply. See how he's getting on. And then I might have to let... If you've got plenty, I might have to drop him a message and see if we can pinch stuff. No, he, look, he's hardly got any as well. Hardly any at all. Which means either his witch farm's not working well or he's been using it for other things. Which, you know, it's up to him. It's his witch farm. And this place is looking awesome. I love this with the carpet. That looks very nice. Yeah, his, his witch hut's coming on really, really good. 
So I guess in the next episode, we really need to be looking at maybe opening this present if we're allowed. I'll have to ask Jesse B if I'm allowed to open it before Christmas. And also looking at Prankin's Loy as well. We need to get cracking with that. And on my garden, I don't look, look how dark this is. It's no wonder I'm always getting zombies and creepers and stuff spawning over here. I need to get it all sorted out and sharp. Need to do it fast, Foxy Dotel. But for now, I'm afraid that is pretty much all I've got time for. So I'm going to say, as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I'm just going to check my villages. Yeah, I'm just, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.